blade and quill. Today, before I show you the tools in the toolbox, I wanted to show you how to customize your workspace. If you go on the upper right of your screen right here, you will see all the pre-existing workspace. You have a big paint, uh, you have a default where you always start. You also have the animation workspace for people who are doing animations. So let's go back to default. But I don't want to use a pre-existing workspace. I want to create my own. And I don't like how things are laid out here. So in order to make my own uh, workspace, I'm going to move things around. So all those little things here that you see are called floating dockers because you can move them by clicking right here on these icons. So the first icon is to move a docker and the second icon, the X, is to close a docker. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move my toolbox. And here for some reason I don't have those icons. I just have this long thick bar that you see here. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it at the very top of my canvas. And when a Krita is ready for me to drop something, it highlights the area. So here it's highlighted, I'm ready to drop it. So I let my finger go off my mouse and now my toolbox has been dropped in the area that was highlighted. I want the toolbox to be aligned nicely so I am going to uh, go on this area right here. You see all those little dots and when the arrows up and down arrows appears, I just drag them until I have a nice alignment. Here we go. I am now going to move my tool options because I want uh, the tool options to be right below uh, my uh, toolbox and to the left of my screen. So I click on my pop-up uh, icon and you're going to see it's going to eject it. Here we go. And now I grab it with my mouse and I move it to the left. So again it highlights and I let go. Go to those little uh, uh, dots to move and make things bigger. Here we go. And now if you want to add a docker, you go to settings, dockers, and then you choose whatever you want. So for instance, I want an overview. So I click on overview and I'm like, where did it go? I don't see it. I thought I clicked on it. Ha, ah, it's right here behind the advanced color selector. So when you uh, create a new docker or maybe not create, but when you uh, make a docker active be careful they will appear sometimes behind something else so let's click on it and let's make sure that it pops out so let's click on the icon and i am going to move it to the left however if i move it here the entire area highlights if i let go uh, it's going to appear behind the tool options you see overview and tool options now we have two tabs i don't want that so I'm going to go back to my overview and pop it out again. It goes back to its uh, original space. I want it to be below the tool options. I don't want it to be, it, uh, you know, uh, with a uh, behind or front of it. So I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drag it until I find an area that is free. And here we go. This area is free. So I drop it and now I can change its size. I hope it makes sense and I hope uh, I'm not going too fast. Uh, it's a little tricky, just, you know, play with the dockers and until you have a good hand of it, okay? Now, the last thing that I want to do is uh, change the display of my brush. So there is uh, two things that you can do. First, you can maybe uh, change them to be seen just as thumbnails. So you would click on thumbnails. And now, as you can see, all the details, uh, the text is gone. You only see the thumbnails to represent your brushes. Or you go back to details. But this time, you just want to change the size of your uh, thumbnails. So we're gonna make them smaller, all right, right here. Okay, everything looks good, I like it. And uh, I am going to now save my new workspace. So I go back to the icon that I looked earlier where I saw all my pre-existing workspaces. I click on it 
and I am going to now click and save as MySpace. And now I click save and now if you look at it, I just added, created my own space. So click on my space and now it's active, you can work. So let's create a text. First, click on the text icon in your toolbox. Then using your mouse, you are going to drag it on your canvas. And as soon as you let go, a window is going to appear. Here you can make all the changes that you need if you had already a, a text existing or you can just create your own text. Uh, this is where you will write or type your text. This uh, placeholder test text is a, a pre-existing you know, text by Krita to basically tell you if this is where you need to work. So we are going to write the name of my sea dragon. His name is Mush. M-U-S-H V-S-C Dragon Just like a Microsoft Word, you can change the font using the drop-down menu. You can change the size. You can change the color. You have two options. You can use the color swatches or you can use the color wheel. So let's make it maybe this color right here. All right. So let me move the window just a little. And here is the eye drop. So this eye drop is uh, to match the color of your text with something that is on your canvas or with an already existing text that is on your canvas. So I'm going to click on the eye drop and here I created these little blue dots. I'm going to click on the blue dots and uh, let's see if you can see it. Let's, let's go back. You can't really see. Uh, here we go. Okay, so let's go back here. I'm going to go on my eye drop and I'm going to click on the blue dots on my uh, canvas and look at much the sea dragons uh, becomes blue. All right. So let's go back here, here we go. You can make your text bold or you can make it italic. You can underline it. It is right now uh, aligned uh, to the left, but you could align it to the right or you could also center it. And when you are done, you click save and close. Now, when you save and close your text, for some reason, Krita makes you go right away to this icon here. And if you hover on the text, you see this plus uh, I sign with uh, arrow heads on the, on the top. So like four arrows, and this is what you will use to move your text. And if you click anywhere on the canvas, uh, the uh, uh, frame will disappear. Now let's say that I want to uh, add something. First thing that I wanted to show you also is that uh, when you create a text, it creates a vector layer. So now let's add another text. So we have to go back to the text icon and then we are going to drag our mouse. And now we are going to add something else. We are going to add uh, uh, hello to the and we are going to change the color to maybe a pink and we're gonna make the size like this save and close now I'm gonna move this on the top all right I created another text. You would think that another layer would be created, right? But no, Krita keeps the same uh, uh, layer for all the texts that you create. So how do you edit something? Because if you think about it, you're going to say, but wait, if I try to edit, everything is going to be uh, uh, selected. Actually not. If you go back to your text icon right here, as soon as you hover on the text here, hello to the, there is one frame. If you hover on this one, there is another frame. So by clicking on it, 
and then saying edit text, you will only edit mush vertice dragon. So now let's close. But let's go back to the text. If I hover on the hello to the and I click on it and then say edit text, it will only uh, edit the uh, hello to the. So let's uh, match the color with this uh, blue dragon right here. So it's matched. And then uh, let's go to uh, the uh, copper black that was our uh, font. And um, let's make it very big. This one here. And then we're going to save and close. Let's move it right here. All right. Now let's say that I wanted to add something here. So go back again to your text, hover on it to make sure that this is what you want to edit. Click on it to make it active and then say edit text. And now I am going to add a comma and I'm going to add an exclamation point and I am going to add cute. And then I can say save and close. You can also move text by using this uh, icon here that is a move tool. And when you see the plus sign, you see that you can move everything here. However, the plus sign will move everything that is on the layer. You see, if I put uh, my, uh, if I click on the C creature layer to make it active, my uh, creature will move, all right? If I go to my vector, then all the text will move. All right. So when we don't want to just want to move something, you go first on the text, you, you click on it, and then you click on that one here, and then you can move only this one. I hope you uh, can see what I was doing. Let's do this again. I went to my text icon. I hovered on my text right here, and when the frame appeared, I clicked on it to make it active. And then I went to my arrow here and then it said, okay, I see you want to just move this one here. And now I could move it. All right. I think that's all you uh, need to know about the text. And uh, I will uh, talk about other tools in the next video. All right. You have a great week. Stay safe and see you next time.